Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocs.com. It's been a while since we've had uh, a video, so I wanted to start uh, a little bit of a new series, uh, and we'll call this one uh, RC sub guys tools of the trade or, or something equivalent to that. Um, I've recently had a spate of individuals saying I'm having problems identifying an issue uh, with servos uh, in my cylinder. Uh, some of them are working, some of them are not working. I don't know if it's the receiver. I don't know if it is the servo. I don't know if it's the pitch controller. I can't figure it out. And they want me to figure it out from 2,000 miles away. So I'm going to talk about a tool of the trade that uh, I highly recommend anybody uh, who is in this hobby, uh, or any RC hobby for that matter, to pick up and keep in your arsenal. Uh, this is a servo tester. Um, this is uh, from Astro Flight. I think I, I got this on trade from somebody, but you can pick these up. Uh, not the specific one, but a servo tester on Amazon for like eight bucks. Um, and basically all they do, uh, you connect power to one end, you connect a servo to the other end, and it allows you to control a servo or test a servo without the need for a radio. So the cool thing about this is you're bypassing uh, you know, the potential issue with the receiver to see if the issue lies with the servo. So you can connect this uh, obviously in the place of a receiver um, and again, uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, and try this out. I'll show you how this works. So I got my servo tester, I got my servo, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and plug in this little receiver battery pack, 5 volt battery pack. And uh, you can see it's got, um, you know, a, a potentiometer in here. And as you spin it, it turns the uh, servo. So again, this is uh, all happening without the need for a receiver to tell the servo what to do. Now, from a diagnostic perspective, you're uh, eliminating the receiver from the equation. You could plug it in before, for example, an automatic pitch controller. Try everything out. Uh, if everything works, you'll know it's potentially the receiver. If you're having issues, you know it's not the receiver and it could potentially be the pitch controller, etc. Etc. So this is my uh, very short video tip of the day. This is a servo controller. Uh, this is an old school one. Um, if you if you hit this button, um, basically, uh, well, typically it would cycle the the servo through. But uh, a lot of them will actually have a button to center the servo, to cycle the servo. Um, a lot of uh, really cool features and again exceptionally cheap and very much worthwhile the eight dollar uh, and some odd cent investment so there you go bob's uh tool tip of the day servo tester for testing servos in your watertight cylinder thanks for joining me it's bob martin the rc sub guy with the nautilus dry catch you next time